Hello, and welcome to the Movie Universe. I'm your host, Movie Fan. Today, I'll be playing Primal Rage. Now, this is a game that I think we're all very familiar with, mostly because it was an arcade game before it came to the home console. And not to mention, it's been on every home console there is. But the one I'll be playing is the Super Nintendo. Primal Rage is really quite a simple game. It's basically a tournament fighting game. A lot like Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat. In fact, I would say it's a lot more like Mortal Kombat because there's blood in it. The only difference here? You get to play as giant animals. And there's quite an assortment to choose from. Most of them are dinosaurs, but you can also play as these two giant apes. And the idea is that you basically conquer the world and gain worshippers by defeating the other country's giant creature. It's a simple concept, but it is a lot of fun. Although it is challenging for me because, like Mortal Kombat, there are certain tricks you can do if you push the right combination of buttons. And unfortunately, when it comes to that, I am unable to do it. I don't know what it is, but I can never do button combinations very well. So for me, it's just punch, kick, jump, and do it all over again and hope for the best. But I do manage to do pretty well with it. And some of the special attacks are actually quite amazing. In fact, I think the apes have the most interesting attacks. For instance, you got Blizzard here who I'm fighting. He has the ability to freeze you, make ice appear out of nowhere. And then there's the other ape, Chaos. He has a pretty good reach. He's very quick. And believe it or not, he can actually knock you unconscious for a little bit by farting. Seriously, it actually works a lot. It's one of those stun moves, you know what I mean? But of course I think my favorites are the dinosaurs. For instance, you got Diablo here who can breathe fire. And then there's Vertigo, the snake. Basically a dinosaur cobra. He has incredible reach. I know he can uh, spit venom, but I do not know how to do it. And that's just to name a few. Other ones like Talon are really fast, so that's his advantage is his speed. Many of them have brute strength and all kinds of tricks up their sleeves. But again, for me, I cannot do any of this stuff. It's just mostly punch and kick for me. Or I should say, bite and kick. And what I find the most interesting about this game is, it feels like Mortal Kombat. Not just because it's bloody, but also because they look like they're digitized dinosaurs. Of course, the reason for this is probably because they're meant to be CGI, a lot like Donkey Kong but there's something about them that looks almost lifelike. And that's one of the things I like the most about this game. These dinosaurs and apes look so lifelike that it really draws you in, especially when you're biting the hell out of your opponent. A great fighting game that has many challenges along the way. And I'll tell you, if you want a real challenge out of this game, try and play this without using any of the special attacks. There's a challenge. This is Movie Fan, signing off.